What would you do if you saw someone collapse? You know to call 911, but did you know that if you start hands-only CPR, the new CPR without mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing, you will significantly increase that person's chance of survival. Hands-only CPR can double or even triple the victim's chance of survival. You do not need to be certified to perform hands-only CPR. Dr. Howard Mell, the EMS Medical Director for Lake Health, is an expert in emergency medicine and cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Hands-only CPR is a new technique that's easier to learn, easier to perform, and more effective than traditional CPR that uses mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. If you witness someone collapse from sudden cardiac arrest, taking prompt action could save their life if you followed these simple steps. First, place the person on his back on a hard surface. Check for responsiveness by shaking and shouting at the person or rubbing their chest bone hard with your knuckles. Call 911. Next, command someone to call 911 or make the call yourself. Then begin chest compressions. You aim for the center of the chest, usually right between the nipples. You put the heel of one hand there, you put the heel of the other hand on top, and you lock your elbows. And then you put your shoulders immediately over the center of the chest, and you fall, compressing about two inches. The reason for that is that no one is strong enough to do 100 compressions a minute without leveraging their body weight. It is important that the hands are lifted from the chest after each compression. That's because the recoil of the chest creates a little vacuum, causing air to go in and blood to come back. It's also important to pump on the chest fast, at a rate of 100 times per minute. An easy way to maintain that beat is to think of a disco song like Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Try to do 100 times. Even if you're not perfect, you have the best chance of getting the most flow. In cardiac arrest, the heart is often just quivering, not pumping any blood. So when we compress the victim's chest, we are compressing their heart, making a heartbeat. And we want 100 compressions per minute to effectively pump the blood to the brain and the heart thus helping the brain and the heart stay oxygenated so they can respond to further treatment. If you stop compressions, blood flow to the brain stops and the person dies. What if the victim gasps? If the victim gasps but isn't breathing normally, continue giving hands-only CPR. Gasping is actually a good sign that someone can be successfully resuscitated. Can you hurt someone by performing the chest compressions so deep? For a victim of sudden cardiac arrest, it is important to make the chest compressions at least two inches deep. Remember, they're dying. It is better to break a rib than let someone die. Why is hands-only CPR more effective than traditional CPR for sudden cardiac arrest? First of all, more people will do it. It's simpler, it's easy to remember, and frankly, it's not so intimidating. Secondly, mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing interferes with the circulation of blood during CPR. Then how do you get oxygen into the blood? If it's an adult who collapses from a cardiac problem, they typically already have enough oxygen in their body. It's a matter of circulating that oxygen to the tissues that need it, most importantly, the brain and the heart, so they can respond to treatment. For every minute that you delay CPR, the victim's chance of survival drops 10%. So, if we wait five minutes to start CPR, the victim's chance of survival is less than 50%. We want 911 to be called immediately when someone suffers a sudden cardiac arrest, followed by hands-only CPR until the paramedics arrive. If this happens, we will significantly increase Lake County's current survival rate, but we need your help to do this. It may even save the life of someone you know. What if you get tired doing hands-only CPR until the paramedics arrive? It can seem like an eternity waiting for paramedics. If there is another person available to help, have them take a position on the opposite side of the victim. You can alternate chest compressions as you get tired. Every minute someone dies of cardiac arrest in the United States. Nearly every day it happens to someone in Lake County. It can happen to anyone, any place, at any time, without any warning. Your best chance for survival is if someone does hands-only CPR. But it is very important to note that hands-only CPR is not for infants or small children or for drowning victims. We are seeing amazing results here in Lake County with hands-only CPR. With the support of the Lake County Fire Chiefs Association, we kicked off the Keep the Beat educational campaign to educate 10,000 people in hands-only CPR in 2012. The fire and EMS units in Lake County are committed to preventing harm in our community. Currently, only one out of every four victims of sudden cardiac arrest receives CPR. We want every victim of sudden cardiac arrest to receive hands-only CPR. Now you know how to perform hands-only CPR. So remember, check for responsiveness. 
Call 911. Start hands-only CPR, compressing the chest at least two inches at a rate of 100 beats per minute. You don't have to check for a pulse. You don't have to clear the airway. You don't have to do mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. It's easy to do, and it can save someone's life.